everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video I'm going to be filming a Edinburgh haul because whilst I was away in Edinburgh I picked up a couple of things. So today I decided to share them all with you in case you're wondering what I bought myself and what you can get in shops right now. So I thought it would be a good video and everybody likes a haul so I have a couple of things to share with you. But um, if you haven't seen the Edinburgh vlog already, then I'm going to link it down below because it's one of my favourite cities I've ever visited. It was such a nice trip. Um, I love the city, I love the little cafes and just everything about the old and new town. Um, it was just such a great time and I'm definitely going to be returning there in the future. Maybe in like spring or summer, it would be lovely. But um, yeah, I really, really love this. So if you're like looking into going to Edinburgh or visiting Edinburgh anytime soon, definitely go. I'm really recommending it. Like I just can't recommend it enough. So um, yeah, let's jump straight into the video and I'm going to show you what I bought. So the first thing I have beside me is a couple of things that I got from the Camera Obscura like gift shop. So um, I was there, you can see in my vlog. I'm gonna keep mentioning the vlog, so you better go watch it. <laughs> um, yeah, so I got two things, kind of. So the first one is some pins. If you know me, then you know that I usually pin these to like my denim jacket during the summer or something. So it was three pins for like two pounds or something. So I just picked them up. Um, the first one says, hug me. Um, the next one is like a superwoman sign. And then the last one is Hogwarts because I'm obsessed with Harry Potter. Also, can I just mention that every single shop in Edinburgh has something to do with Harry Potter. That's amazing. I find that great. Every, every shop should have that. <laughs> and then the next thing I got is something that I mentioned in my vlog. I already showed it to you in my vlog. But um, it's the One Line a Day, a five year memory book. So this is a book in which you write... Um, a line a day and like you can see it here basically this is 2018 and I'm not going to return to this exact page until 2019 2020 2021 22 so um you just write a line a day and I've already started writing my um, lines and I just love it I just think it's a such a good idea because in five years time I'm going to be able to look back on today and see what I did or what memorable thing I wanted to write down. So I think it's just a really nice thing to have and who knows what, where I'm going to be in five years time. So I just think it's nice to look back on the things that you did. Like I mentioned that I went to Edinburgh in this. So I think it'll be a nice thing to have. Also I wanted this for such a long time, it's been on my wish list forever. So when I saw it I was like, oh my god, I cannot leave it here, I have to get it. So I got it and it's a really good idea. Next, I went into boots for a couple of things. The first thing I got is the three for two on simple cleansing wipes. So these are two of them here and then I have my third one. Um, actually, it's in Aaron's house. I'm already using it. So um, yeah, I just got some wipes because I love these and they're usually really expensive here and they were on offer. And it was in pounds, so it seemed like I paid less, even though I probably paid the same amount. But I got these because they're my favourites. Then I got a dry shampoo. This I actually got in boot on the way back in the airport. Because I still had some pounds left over and I was just looking to spend them, basically. Um, so I got the Batiste dry shampoo in pretty and delicate rose gold. Um, rose gold was the thing that caught my eye. Um, I don't actually know what it smells like. Ooh, that's really nice. Yeah, that smells lovely. So, um, yeah, dry shampoo. I actually ran out of mine yesterday. So, um, great timing, great timing. So I'm excited to give that one a go. Also, in boots going over to Edinburgh, I got a couple of minis because Aaron was getting some. So I was just like, oh, I need makeup remover. So I might as well get something. So the first thing I got is the simple eye makeup remover. Um makeup remover. <laughs> um, it's just a like travel size one. I've never tried this before so I'm excited to give it a go. I might leave it and leave it for holidays to into like in my drawer. And then I also got the Mitchum Powder Fresh 
antiperspirant, is that what's, what it's called? I don't know if I said that right. Deodorant, basically. Again, it's a small size, but I always wanted to try the Mitchum um, deodorants. It smells amazing. So, um, yeah, I'm definitely going to pick up a big version of that because I really liked it. Oh, I found 55 pence. Then I actually popped into, where was it? Superdrug. Was it Superdrug? I think it was Superdrug. And they were doing a couple of like Christmas things on sale, on special. And I got the Zoella All Is Bright um, like makeup pouch, I wanna say. I don't have the receipt, but this was 195. I think it was 195 pounds, so like one pound, 95 pence, which was crazy because this was like really expensive otherwise. Um, and it comes with the hand cream, Winter Wonderland hand cream. Um, it's 40 mils. And it also comes with the little Snowella roller ball, which I wanted to try out. So I'm excited because now I get to try it out. Ooh, that smells nice. So yeah, those two things in the little pouch that I can use as my makeup bag or I don't know a pencil case or something so yeah that was that I just couldn't leave it it was so cheap so I was like I might as well pick it up now and the same goes for these um these are the snow bammy lip balms so there are two lip balms in like tins and they were only 95 pence so I couldn't pass them, even if I'm not going to use them, I think I will, but um, I could just give them away to someone or whatever. So yeah, I just could not get those. Then I popped into Topshop for a little while because I wanted to pick up some new jeans. Um, and whilst I was looking at jeans, I saw this makeup bag. It's the one from Skinny Dip that everybody had last year and everybody was like raving about this makeup bag and the phone case and all the youtubers had it and i just think it's such a good size it's a perfect size um i like the way it's clear because you get to see all the makeup that's in it um and i just really liked it it was 14 pounds but um i'm really excited to start using it i was like i need to film this haul because i want to use this so yeah nothing special but i'm really excited for it and again it was sold out everywhere where like i wanted it last year so I got it now. I got some jeans, which look like this. So they're basically blue jeans. And these are the Topshop mom jeans. So they're the high-waisted jeans. This is what they look like, in case you're wondering. I had to go up a size in these because they're a little bit, um, they don't stretch much. I've never tried mom jeans from Topshop, by the way. I usually wear uh, Joni jeans, which I'm like 28, 30 in, and then I use Jamie, I use, I wear Jamie jeans, which I'm 30, 30 in, but these ones, I tried the 30, 30 on, and I could zip up, I zipped up perfectly, but then I went to sit down, and I was like, mm, it's a little bit too tight, just because the material just doesn't stretch, so I was like, I better get bigger ones because I feel like I'm going to be just getting annoyed by the fact that I can't sit down or it's too com uncomfortable. So I got the 3230 and I feel like I tried them on again and they looked really nice. Um, they are a little bit loose, a tiny bit, but I can just pair them with a belt and yeah, I'm really excited to wear these. I don't usually wear mom jeans, I usually wear skinny jeans, but um. I think it's just something different that I can change up because I'm always looking for jeans. I don't know, I just get really bored of the ones that I, I'm wearing. Currently, I have a whole stack of jeans in my wardrobe and I wear about three pairs. So I need to definitely clear those out and give them away or sell them or something because I haven't used them that often. Next, I went into Size, which is like a shoe shop. And... I was on the lookout for some Vans old school because everybody's wearing them and no, I didn't want them because everybody else is wearing them. I wanted them because they just look so cool and I only have one pair of Vans, I believe. Yeah, one pair of Vans and they're like blue ones and I've never been crazy about Vans or anything. I'm more of a Converse girl 
but when these came out I just wanted them so much and if you know if you're on the hunt for these right now you know that they're sold out everywhere especially if you're a UK size 5 like I am which is literally the average size so you're lucky you really are lucky if you find a pair of them so I searched all over Edinburgh obviously in Dublin they don't have them online they don't have them so I searched the whole of Edinburgh they didn't have them in shoe office JV they just didn't have them and then we we're going to the Caro chocolate cafe that I mentioned in my vlog and we walked past size and I was like mm, I see my shoes through the window and they looked fairly small um, unlike in the other shops when they were like a size 8 I was eight. I was like oh no they, they definitely are not my size but these ones looked a little bit smaller and I was like hmm I'm just going to go in and see if it's my size I walked in, looked at the shoe, size 5 you could imagine my um, reaction I was like yes so I bought them and the man at the till said he couldn't believe that they were sold out everywhere um, he said that he still has a couple of um, size 5s left. I'm not sure if size.co.uk... Oh no, they have a website. I just read the .co.uk. Obviously that's a website. So if you're looking out for these and if you're looking for a size 5, maybe they have some on their website because the Edinburgh size um, on Princess Street, they had... He said that he still had like four boxes of size 5 left. So, that's why I got them. They were, how much were they? £55. Um, so, the average price for these. But I'm just super excited to start wearing them. And, yeah, I can't actually believe that I got my hands on these. Especially, I wasn't even going to go into the shop. I was just walking past it. And, like, by coincidence, I got a chance to grab these for myself so I'm going to wear these tomorrow <laughs> next I went into Primark and I got this huge bag not because I got a lot of things it's because we just couldn't carry and couldn't carry anymore and the lady was like oh what if it breaks so she just got, gave me one of those so the first thing I picked up are shoes for £10 and this is what they look like so they're kind of like the Reebok ones I think they're called um, so they're basic, I'm going to show you one, they're basically like this, they are suede and like baby pink, this is what they look like from the front and then here, and yeah, I just thought they were a really cool shoe, um, I, I was always on the hunt for the Reebok ones, but then I never got a chance to get them and I just keep forgetting about getting them. So I just said, I'll get the 10 euro pair, <laughs> and if I like them, if I like the style and all, then I'll get the actual Reebok ones. But I just thought they'd be really nice, obviously not for the winter and the rain and everything like that, because they'd be destroyed any minute. But um, I think when it gets a little bit warmer and sunnier, sunnier, is that a word? The sun starts to come out and the rain stops then I can maybe wear these so yeah I thought they were really cool then I got something Harry Potter surprise surprise and this is what I got so it's a grey t-shirt that says platform nine and three quarters and it's just a normal grey top it was six pounds and I got it in a size 14 just so it's a little bit more baggy excited for that it's just like a simple top so I'm it, you can wear it with jeans and my vans then I got um, something from the like sleep section and I'm so excited for this because I've never seen this in our pennies in Dublin but um I was just like I saw it and I was like I need that so it's basically like a sleep dress so it's like a dress as you can see and it has long sleeves and look, I don't know if you'd be able to tell, but it's like fleecy. It's like the softest thing I've ever felt. Uh, to be fair, it's not like that on the inside. It's just normal on the inside. But on the outside, it's amazing. It also has a little pocket here. Um, I just thought this was so nice. Um, it was £8. And again, I got it in a large, just so it's so like oversized and cozy and I just feel like this is gonna be the best thing ever just to cuddle in and watch movies in 
not necessarily sleep in, just to lounge around the house. And then another thing that I got from like this uh, sleep section is a jumper that I saw on Primark's Instagram or something and I needed it in my life, but then it was gone where I live in my local Primark. So this is what it looks like and it's a jumper that's Harry Potter. It has a little hood and some long sleeves and I just really love the like the pattern on it. Um this like that's like rose gold and then the logo here is rose gold and it's again really really soft. It's almost as soft as the previous thing that I showed you. And yeah, I'm just really excited to start wearing that. I'm not sure if I'd wear it out, maybe. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's certainly a pyjama piece. Then I got a couple of shorts because summer stuff is back in Primark. Like all the bikinis, all the shorts. And I said it to Aaron, we were walking around and he was like, you're not buying shorts, are you? And I was like, yes, because the ones that I'm gonna want in a couple of weeks time will be sold out so with pennies and Primark you kind of have to work fast if you want something get it now because you, you'll come back tomorrow and it'll be gone so that's what I've learned I've learned the hard way and um, so I got some of these shorts they're just like the cotton shorts Um, they were 250 and you just can't go wrong with these I got them in a 12 um, and then I got another pair which is I think it's navy. Yeah, it's navy. So it just has a white like rim around them and yeah, 250. Perfect as pajamas or just when it gets warmer just walking around the house or outside whatever you're comfortable with. I then got a hat for for like walking around Edinburgh. I don't wear hats. If you know me, you you're never going to see me in a hat. But um I got one and it was on sale. It was 2 pounds. And it just has this pom-pom and it's black. And then the last thing I got is some trousers. They're like culottes. Is that what they're called? They're like trousers that kind of are wide at the um, at the bottom. And they're, they don't really go down as far. So this is what they look like. They kind of have like a paper bag um, band around them. And then this tie... And then they go down into trousers. <laughs> um, they're like nude, pinky nude, dusky pink kind of. And I just thought they'd be really nice for going out for dinner. Um, kind of trying to dress up a little bit more smart than I usually do. And they were £10 and I got them in a 12 And the last shop that I went into was Lush because I always have to go into Lush. I only got three things. But I really love the three things that I got. They're from the um, Valentine's Day collection. So the first thing I got is Love Boat Bath Bomb. And I'm going to open it and try and not get it all over the place. And show you what they look like really quickly. Because I'm aware I'm filming 21 minutes already. So. Whoa. This is what it looks like. So it's a cute boat. It's actually really, really big, um, surprisingly. And it has a little heart where my thumb is. But yeah, it smells so nice. Um, I'm going to link these down below so you can read about them yourself. But honestly, if you're around Lush anytime soon before Valentine's Day, definitely go in and pick something up or at least go in and smell some things because they, they were so nice and I wasn't sure what to pick. I didn't want to pick too much because I'm, I was aware that I only had a small luggage so I couldn't bring anything back with me. That was too big. Um, then I got Butterball Bat Bomb because it's one of my favourites. It's the like really cheap one. Um, Butter Bear is around Christmas. I just love the scent. It's just a plain white Bat Bomb. This is what it looks like. It just makes the bath water so soft and it leaves your skin really soft. It just smells like vanilla and oh, that's amazing. I always pick that uh, that up and I always pick up the comforter, but I have a whole um, comforter sitting just right there. So I wasn't picking another one of those up because I haven't used that one yet. But I always pick up the butter ball. Um, and then the last thing I got is 
Tisty, Tisty Toasty Bath Bomb. Tisty. That's what it looks like. Uh, I'll show you what this looks like. I actually can't remember what this is. So it's a little pink and white heart, as you can see. And it has little rose petals um, inside it. Again, it smells really nice. Uh, my favourite is, out of the three that I got, is Butterball. And then the Love Boat. Uh, and then this one. But yeah, I'm really excited to have a bath. Um, I might have one tomorrow after college. Also, another last thing is three things that I ordered from Lasty Gal. I've never ordered from them before, so I was super excited to order from them. They had a sale on, so that kind of motivated me to do it. And as I said to some people, I was like, it was a present from me to me for my birthday. Because if you don't know, then I turned 21 the other day. I know a lot of you on YouTube think that I'm about 16 or something. Someone asked me before in the comments, how old are you? And I was like, uh, 20. Well, you look about 15, and I was like, well, I guess I'll just take it as a compliment. <laughs> but yeah, I turned 21, so I just said I'll pick something out of the website and get it for myself. So, the first thing um, is a top. And surprise, surprise, it's stripey. And this is the sleeves. So it has like little ruffles here. And it's it kind of matches just the end, like just the top of my jeans. So it's not a crop top, but it's like a longer crop top. Um, it has like bell sleeves and it's really, really soft. I'm not sure if you can see, but it is nice and soft. Tiga's making noise. Um, I'm going to link all of these down below. I can't remember now how much it was, but I will link it down below. And then another stripey thing. Again, surprise, surprise. And I love this. I feel like the quality of these things is amazing. Um, it's this little jumper sweater kind of thing. It's long sleeved and then at the back it has a tie going all the way down the back. Um, and I just thought it was a really nice touch. Again, I'm going to link that down below. Um, yeah, both of them are so soft. And then, last but not least, I got some jeans once again. And these are mom jeans again. This is what they look like. Um, this basically ties in like a bow. But that's what they look like. And they're mom jeans. And then there's nothing to them really. But yeah, I just thought the ruffle um, kind of thing was a nice touch. And I wasn't expecting these to fit me because I never uh, order jeans online just because, as I said with the Topshop jeans, I feel like they might be too tight or something. So I always go to the shop and try them on, but I feel like online you can get a little bit better like styles of jeans. So I got these and I got them in 40, so UK 12, and they fit me perfectly. So yeah. That's what I got and I'm excited to wear these. I can finally like whip all these clothes out and <laughs> wear them tomorrow or something because I've been waiting to wear them for a long time. Anyway, Tiga's getting impatient with me. I'm going to let you go. I really hope you enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did and subscribe if you haven't already because I would love to have you here. Let me know what your favourite piece from the haul was and let me know what's on your wish list or what have you bought recently and leave me any suggestions as to what you would like to see from me this year. Um, I'm kind of writing my ideas at the moment. I don't have too many, but if you have any ideas, then be sure to help me with them. And yeah, I really hope you have a lovely day whenever you're watching this, and I will see you all next time. Bye!